so this is a custom slick stick bow it was um, I have already have two slick sticks and I love them yeah, they are so light and easy to open and easy to, um, to use and uh, they saved me uh, the slick stick saved me from uh, leaving archery uh, after one year so uh, someone's by uh, someone well my husband decided to give, give give me a new bow, uh, a new slick stick for, for a present and he thought that a custom slick stick uh, would be a great idea. My slick stick, the previous one, uh, it's 25-28 uh, inches but my draw length is 25 and a half so I never uh, pulled the uh, 25 pounds and this one was meant to be 25 at uh, 25 and a half but it ended up being more close to 28 which is it turns out it's fine it's fine after a few years of archery i i can pull this uh 28 pounds but well i i i noticed the difference when i uh when i switch between them i i noticed uh, it's also very light it's around 700 a bit over 700 uh, grams uh, whereas the slick stick is around, it's a bit over half kilogram, so it's still very light. But I also notice the difference. But it's in, in what I'm comfortable with. It's it's okay that the uh, weight for the bow. I prefer light bows because I my arm will tire uh, sooner if I have you know uh, bows with a. a higher weight and my problem is not uh, stability I don't need a heavy bow for stability uh, this bow is made of um, uh, white curly beach dirt in the uh, outside the and in the inside also and the core is uh, made of uh, ebony and there, there's this small middle because it's for stability reasons, uh, the uh, botnik bows usually puts this in the middle because it's a. Uh, it seems it's very. It gives the better uh, performance to the bows, and I'm really really happy. It, uh, in terms of the uh, string, it uses uh, ten strands, and uh, it's a fast uh, um, fast flight uh, string and my arrows fly very well. I use also uh, Berpo arrows, uh, they are a thousand spine and they are very very light with a 75 grain uh, tip so yeah they are they go perfect with this bow. I also use them with my other, my, my slip stick but yeah it, they fly fine with both uh, bows but yeah this is a reflex deflex bow with a little bit of recurve in the limbs and one thing that makes this bow special is the uh, length it's a 59 uh, inches bow the reason for this is that I may want to use it as a long bow uh, with uh, wooden arrows so 59 inches long is the minimum for uh, I think for female bows in world archery um, and um, yeah, okay, I must say that Henry Botnik, when we went uh, to uh, order this bow, uh, suggested 56 uh, uh, inches for the length of the bow because it was the uh, good uh, length for my uh, draw length, the, the poundage, everything. But yeah, after we told him, yeah, but uh, I want to be able to switch if I want to, to use it as a long bow, he, okay, uh, uh, okay. Well, it's not the perfect length for the bow for, you know, getting the most out of, out of the bow. But yeah, okay, if you want to do that, you, we can do that. So it's a bit special in that I'm in that regard, but it works perfectly. Something I, it's very, that I wanted out of this bow is that I wanted it to be very fast. Not that the slick stick is not fast, because even if, if it's uh, my uh, slick stick is 25 pounds, it's really fast but this one had to give me the most uh, I could get from my draw lamp uh, and the foundage I'm, I'm, uh, I'm able to, to open my
So it's uh, in order to do that, they made this. Maybe you cannot notice it, but uh, the limbs are very, very slim. They are. It, it, they are slimmer than the the other one, the, the slick stick, the regular slick stick. So it's amazing. If you see them, they are so so slim that you you, you might think that oh this bow is going to break, but no, it's not. It's, it's great and it's very durable. But another thing that as this bow, as the uh, the slick stick, the regular is the pistol grip, the high pistol grip, which is very comfortable. And I think you could uh, choose. Uh, another type of uh, grip but I like this one a lot it's uh, my hands are very small so this one works for me perfectly so um, this bow also has I, I feel no handshake when I shoot this this bow even with my my arrows and also there's no stacking I notice anything when I'm drawing the, the bow so it's I'm very very happy. I know that it's uh, the pound that is heavier than than my than the other that's like sick, but I am having no trouble opening it or you know it's very you know, smooth the way you, you open this bow. So in the end, I like this bow a lot. I, I still shoot the ear the slick stick, but it's like the perfected slick stick made for me, and I like the how it the you know how it looks. Uh, you can also you add, can add things um, in here and your tips to make it if you like another style but I like simple bows with no extra things and nothing so it's very very uh, simple and nice and elegant and I love it I, I I love it visually and I love it I love to shoot it I'm still getting used to it because well I must confess that during the winter I you know I hibernate like bears and all that stuff so I even if I have this bow for some months I've been shooting it regularly for like a month so yeah <laughs> I'm still getting used to it but I love it I, I, and I see myself shooting this bow for many years so I wish to thank Henry Bodnik for the time he he put a meeting us when we went to Germany and for his great suggestions and for his patience and for such and um, to him and everyone at Burpa to for such a great work and such a lovely boat. Thank you.